bit. Amen. Uh, Dr. King, he says it like this, that there is nothing more dangerous than sincere stupidity. Amen. Uh, sometimes we got to pump our brakes and ask ourselves, God, am I being zealous for the wrong thing? Am I one of these individuals who find myself unable to sit with God's voice telling and guiding and admonishing us in a direction that may feel opposite to everything we know to believe is true? Woo! I want you to know it's, it's, it's quite a dilemma in this country. When we are as followers of Jesus, as Christ followers, as Christians, as the church are so wedded to war and so wedded to violence, so wedded to, 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 to the deaths of others without much regard for their suffering. I want you to know, child of God, that sometimes we must be honest that our influences can cause us to be sincerely misguided in your relationship. Sometimes the advice you're getting may cause you to be sincerely misguided. Sometimes the way that you are taking care of your health can cause you to be sincerely misguided. Sometimes if all you are receiving uh, as information are tidbits on social media or continually, continuously listening to your favorite pundit or your favorite news channel and you're not able to read more widely or conversate with folks who have different opinions, how many of you know sometimes we can become sincerely misguided? and get to a place that when Jesus is trying to promote and proclaim the will of God, we think it is our place to correct the divine. Lord, I want you to know Jesus told Peter, oh, get thee behind me. He didn't call him Peter. He said Satan. Oh, and I'm here to tell you, some of us better check the devil that's trying to sneak up in our heart and sneak up in our mind and sneak up in our relationships and sneak up in this, this political climate and sneak up in the media. The devil is trying to deceive some of us when wisdom is, as the scripture says, crying out in the street trying to lead us to a path of life. Oh, but you ought to tell someone, I will not be lied to. I will not be misguided. I am going to train my ears to hear the voice of God. And may my response to God be, Lord, whatever you have to say, I will say yes, Lord. Oh, do I have anybody in the house that remembers what it's like to say yes to the Lord? Do I have anybody in the house that remembers what it's like to say, have thine own way in me? Do I have anybody that remembers what it's like to say, not my will, Lord, but thy will be done in me? Lord, help me to say yes.